Good morning. Good morning. I forgot my sunglasses. Welcome to a family holiday vlog. We're going on a family holiday. It's a holiday that we go on every year. We're going to Wales. We're going to a place called Abersock and we are going to be going to a cottage that is up on the tops. Um, it has no internet. No signal. No phone signal. Nothing. Nothing. It's only probably got four channels on the television. Um, <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty secluded. It's probably got four no. channels on the television. Yeah. It definitely has four <laughs> channels on the television. I can't remember whether last no, year he upgraded I'm, to I'm free sure. view. <laughs> Sure he's got so there's gonna be a lot of family time, a lot of us not getting along, reading lots of books because nope. there's nothing else to do. We're bringing the cats, the cats are there, they've settled down. We're I'm bringing not. the hamster. <laughs> And we're bringing Imogen. Now. We're bringing Imogen. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum and dad have got the dog. So the whole family is going. There is not one person that's missing out. Um, we're all we're all on for the ride. So stay tuned because there's going to be lots of fun. Bye. cottage and it's the sun is shining what are you doing oh my god you've got a spider on your head you do yeah. <laughs> <Harriet>. <laughs> When we were little, we used to swim in the sea a lot and we used to pretend to be mermaids. And when I was still young, like at primary school, Imogen was at secondary school and she got into this persona of being like, you know, when you're like a young teen. That's what you were like and going not, through that. Not wanting to do like the yeah. make believe stuff anymore. Yeah, but I was still young and still wanted to do stuff like that. I still wanted to be a mermaid. I still wanted to be a mermaid. So I used to be like, Imogen, please will you come and paddle with me, please? And she'd be there like trying to sunbathe, like, no, Harriet, I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> and it's been a downhill spiral from there. And I've just like remained a child. And this is where she is now. Selfies. Cod photographer. There she is, getting that angle. <laughs> Are you getting the right angle? <laughs> so here's the Noel Gallagher look-alike. Can't let her in that though, you know Noel Gallagher look-alike. Just 
a place called the Hubby Navasock and it, I really enjoyed it. So what did we all have? I, oh, gorgeous. I had breaded halloumi and a roast chicken dinner. I also had the breaded halloumi. What did Imogen have? Mushroom soup and mushroom tangatelli. <laughs> Why did I eat so much mushroom? Because I like it. Well, I had um, pork belly with a croquette and like a hoisin sauce reduction, I think it said. Hoisin? Hoisin, hoisin sauce reducted red cabbage. Yeah. Would you live on the beach? Would I live on the beach? Yeah. Uh, probably not. No, I'm not sure why we are. Why not? I wouldn't live on that. Why? It's, it's too close, isn't it? Why would you not want to be close to the beach, though? Why would you? Because then you can walk on the beach and in the summer you've got... Yeah, of course. What would you do when it's raining? Well, it would rain and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at the state of what? I just stopped so I feel about the boys from being here on <laughs> If you won the lottery, what's the first thing you'd do? Buy our mortgage off. Oh, cool, you pay, like, pay, pay your pay mortgage off. Pay it off, be like, boom, there's, you, there's that. Then what would you do? Then I'm like, right, like, let's look for a farmhouse. You'd buy a nice big farmhouse. Yeah, that's right. Do you know what I'd do? I'd buy a holiday home in All Florida. Right. In fact, no, I'd just live there, just live in Florida. I would buy a house in Florida and I would just go to Disney every day and... You know that if sea levels rose to their maximum amount when the ice cap came out, no longer exists. Florida disappears. Well, you should just fly home again. I mean, if that is not a good enough reason to... To go now. To, <laughs> to go now before before global warming's at its peak, then... Uh, Did I ever forget when she met Mickey Mouse at Disney? Oh my God, she was like... Oh, oh, oh Mickey! Oh, Mickey, you're so Mickey! You're so Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> We're in the set of Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> so basically, I've just been walking <laughs> and been abandoned by I've been abandoned sister. by my family. Nobody cared. Nobody wondered why I was all the way back there for so long. And I I had the biggest pain in my foot ever. It felt like something was stabbing through the flesh of my foot. 
and when we looked it was the tiniest tiny oh shell ah. bit of shell you've ever seen in your life and honestly it was causing me so much pain it was like um the princess in the pea <laughs> that's what it was like the difference between instagram and reality harriet on a video on camera I just had something stuck in my foot and it was so hilarious and I couldn't believe it, it was causing me so much pain though. Harry, reality, it's nice to know you all care about me. I've just pulled a massive thing out of my foot <laughs> and, and I didn't say that. Me. You're shouting in my ear. <laughs> What an idiot. Oh, oh, he nearly went over. Now look at this beast. <laughs> I'll try that again. <laughs> now look at this beast. <laughs> wow, we, wow, we. Oh, 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 it's you. Day two at the beach. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the best thing was when you said I might have to just go. Who's is that? It's what? Alan's Monsters <laughs> University hat. No problem. Yeah. He, he was adamant that he wanted that when we went to Disney. One of the Disney cast members said to him, so uh, what did you graduate with? And Alan was like, what? I haven't. <laughs> and he was wearing his Man uh, Monsters <laughs> University hat. <laughs> Okay, so we're going for another day at the beach. Is everyone excited to get sunburnt today? So we've discovered that this beach is really photogenic. What are you doing? I'm naked! <laughs> so we've just had a mini mother and daughter photo shoot. You promised us carbonara though. That's really not it. Yeah, I'm hurried. Do you like it? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not very good at doing sculptures of faces, so I thought I'd leave her faceless. She's a blur. Beautiful. Isn't she? She's taking a good picture. Well, isn't this just the cutest little thing? We've all got our little pat lunches. What have you got? Ham. I'm a cucumber. I'm a cucumber. Little salad. Oh, that looks disgusting. <laughs> and we've got tuna baguette with cucumber. Yum, yum, yum. Is it good? Mm. Good. Is it good? <laughs> good. So, we're back from the beach. Hold on, let me just get a shot of your legs. Oh, dearie me. Are they bad? Do you know what that looks like? What? Have you seen those squidges or squishies or whatever? <laughs> and one, one half is pink and one half is white. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what that looks like. Let's show me how to see the video. Hey Ronnie, are you enjoying your holiday? Hey? Are you enjoying your holiday? What? Did you get my card? Yeah. Did you get my card? <laughs> I haven't sent me pictures of chocolate. Oh, no, nice. Right, okay. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> 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 I'm sor
We're going crab fishing. But we're having breakfast first. But we're having breakfast first. And it's going to be delicious. Do you think? I don't know. Do you think, Imogen? I think Imogen will like it more than us. Yummy. I think it's going to be delicious. So we are now on the harbour and we're going to do some crabbing. So it's a competition. Who can get the most crabs? The biggest crabs. Um, I vote me. I think I'm going to win it. Who are you voting for, Imogen? She's too busy getting the gram. Who am I voting on for what? To win this competition. Me. Me. Oh. You shot that. Pull it. Alright, Ims. That's yours. Touch the end. Imogen doesn't want to touch it because she's a vegetarian. No, hold on, because you've got, you've got bacon fingers. <laughs> Imogen's made the first catch of the day. <laughs> Those of you who are concerned for the crabs, we are not going to take them home and eat them. We are going to race them later and see who can run back to the sea the quickest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what kind of person chases a seagull and then apologises to it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get one? Did you get one? Oh, Did you? Plop. Look what we just caught a big crab. We? Me. It looked bigger in the water, but it is quite a big crab. For Can yeah, go on. Shall we put it in the bucket? You need to just tip it up, Alan. Like that. Whoops. Wow. <laughs> okay, time for the annual crab race. Three, two, one, go. Run for oh. your lives! You go wrong. No, the wrong way. way. No, you idiot. Has everyone enjoyed their day? I would prefer it better if we went into have a sock. Did you enjoy your day? I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're now in the car, ready to go back to the cottage. That was our final trip to the beach, our final trip into Abbasock. So long, farewell, Avida, say goodnight. What? Good night. So just like that, the trip is over. Oh, that needs to go on today. Where did you find that? On the, t on the fruit thing, where's your bag? Are you sad that your holiday's over? Yeah. No. She's buzzing that Imogen's going. You shouldn't say that. No, that's right, after we kids. Hello, Daisy. So, we've got a three hour drive back to home. Three and a half. Yeah. Three and a half hour drive back home. We have to drop Imogen off in Manchester and then we'll be going back home. Okay, guys, are we all ready? Bye. Bye. Bye, love you. Bye, Daisy. <laughs> Off we go on our way home.